Hi there, this is Brian Terrian from the Disability Digest with the five things that Social Security disability recipients should not do. I've been helping people here at the Disability Digest get, keep, and maximize their disability benefits since 2006. Uh, and this information is a boiled down version list of uh, what I have learned and others here from our 192,000 members that we're serving here at the Disability Digest. So I am in hopes that this information will remove some or all of the uncertainty about what to do to uh, keep your benefits reduced stress, anxiety associated with that. Now, if you're watching this and you're not approved yet, definitely stay tuned because optimistically you're going to get approved and this information will help you keep your benefits. Now, at the end, I'm going to go through some resources and I'm going to hit you with some resources at the end that will help you tie all of this together. So hang out and I'll share those with you then. First thing is, Find your juice, folks. Now, what is juice? Juice is a thing that excites you, that keeps you going, that gives you a sense of purpose. The flip side of this is what I've seen that has been extremely detrimental to people is when they get approved for disability, they have this abundance of time and they've got a steady check and they develop some bad habits. That could be eating, that could be drinking, that could be reducing their socialization groups, you know, socializing groups that they had, uh, social media, TV, you name it, there's a long list. Um, and that is not good. So finding your juice is a phrase that I have um, liberated from Dr. Alice McGarry, who has a book and beautiful work um, that's called A Life Well Lived. She's 102 years old, and she has no plans of stopping. And she's done her work in helping people really holistically find their juice. And her position is that anybody that's alive can find their juice, their passion, the thing that gets them up, that keeps them going, even if it's, you know, uh, just a very minimal time of day. And that could be, doesn't have to be work. It could be volunteering. It could be babysitting your grandchildren. It could be volunteering at your church. It could be just making a phone call to somebody that can't get out of their house. There's just a long list of things. I don't know what your juice is, but it's up to you to find it. And we have lots of interviews here at the Disability Digest with individuals that have definitely found their juice that are disability recipients. So you can also um, uh, learn from that. So one, Find your juice. Two, protect your benefits. Getting approved for disability is one thing, but keeping them is another, especially in today's disability benefit climate. According to the last Biden budget, 20% of disability recipients are getting their continuing disability reviews. And they're reviewing your benefits to see if you still qualify. And you're subject to this until you reach full retirement age. And as a result of those reviews, about 144,000 people are having their benefits removed. So there's lots of work that we've done to help you, you know, fine tune this and understand it. But the key is doctoring. Um, with very few exceptions, your benefits are going to be reliant on you going to the doctors, uh, demonstrating that you have treatment that you are working on your conditions with, but despite that, you have limitations that prevent you from working. That's the key. Now, if you're not doctoring and you still have limitations, that's where Social Security will get in there and they'll hammer, they'll hammer you. Uh, and it happens quick. I've seen benefits turned off in 30 days or less, and then you gotta fight it. It's just, it's very, very difficult to do. So, uh, protect your benefits. Here at the Disability Digest, we actually have a, a benefit protection program. If you're a member, you can ask about it. If you don't know about it, um, that will help you with that. Next is know the rules. Um, 
And what I mean by know the rules is there's people that uh, get approved and it's usually around work. Uh, they work and they earn too much. Now working is allowed here at the Disability Digest since January of 2007, uh, when Dennis Berry started, we've had people helping us with this effort consistently. Um, you know, 40, 50, 60% of the team here has been disability recipients. No problems, because we understand the rules. And that's what I'm encouraging you to, to do. If you're going through the disability process or if you're approved, understand how much you can make and get and keep your benefits. Um, and understand the reporting process. You do those simple things and you can supplement your income, um, find your juice, um, and keep all your benefits. Next is number four. Get all that you're entitled to. Well, you might be thinking, oh, I am, I get my check. Well, you know, two, two areas I wanna talk about here. Regarding your disability check, a common question that we receive is, can I get more on my check? And the answer is yes and no, because you have a cost of living increase that will increase your check. It's targeted to be like 3% next year. Other than that, there isn't, if you get additional conditions or something happens to you, your check is your check, whatever it is on a monthly basis and then take into consideration the COLA. But the second area where I've seen significant improvements is on the Medicare side. Medicare, when I started doing this work, used to just be Medicare Part C, Medicare Advantage plans. They used to just really be doctor's coverage and medication. But these, it's become very competitive. They're getting paid more money. They're putting more benefits in. And in the last few years, we've seen things like just the other day, somebody uh, was put on a plan that had a $200 a month debit card. And this debit card could be used for food, electricity, fuel. It's an open debit card with some, you know, criteria. That's huge. Also, shopping cards so that you can get things at like pharmacies um, that were that are separate. Transportation has increased. I've seen increases in the dental, vision, and hearing benefits. So here's my point. Um, you might be saying, yeah, 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 I got a great plan and all that. Maybe you do. Hopefully you do and everything's fine. But they get better every year. And it's not a matter of like changing companies oftentimes, they'll come out with a new plan that's competitive in today's market. And you've been on your plan for two or three years and you're not checking so you don't know. That happens folks. So we teach you here at the Disability Digest how to review your benefits. You can do it all for free and follow the information on our YouTube channel. For members that we have, uh, we, for some members, because we can't get to everybody, we'll review benefits with you for you at no charge um, and show you what you have now versus what your options are. So point is, review your benefits. Um, that's a big difference. Oh, one other thing on that, getting all that you're entitled to, is oftentimes people are paying for things that they don't need to, uh, like Medicare Part B premiums. If your disability check is under 1500 and you, you know your single or your family income is under 2500 and you're paying for your Medicare Part B premium, it's possible you don't have to. So that, that would be a big savings. Um, there's a utility incentives in certain areas. There's cell phone, internet incentives just about everywhere. So understand what you are entitled to and, and so that you can offset some of those other costs in your life. Um, and make a difference. Okay, last is staying informed. Uh, we produce information, I don't know where you're watching this video, but if it's on YouTube or Facebook or wherever else, um, we have over like close to 950 videos on our YouTube channel, and we'll continue to do that so that we can help you understand what you're entitled to. Um, and you're welcome to watch them all, that would be wonderful. Uh, but the best way that we can help you is if you join us as a member or if you're watching this and you are already a member and we haven't heard from you in a while, 
is to update your membership. There'll be a link around this video and, and here's why. One, there's no charge for it. And when you come through and you click the link and you've complete a profile, it helps us understand where you're at, whether you're trying to get approved, you're already approved, uh, age-driven criteria, where you're living, uh, the conditions that you have. There's so many different nuances that in a, you know, it's usually less than a minute you can complete your profile. Uh, it just helps us get you a customized approach with the right resources for you. And in addition to that, we can support you uh, with electronic support by email for the right group. And we can get you into support groups that we have, like online support groups. Uh, we have live events that would be relevant for what your needs are. Um, so those are areas that you would get with your membership. And again, there's no charge for your membership. Uh, we are funded by ads, sponsors and services that we provide so it allows you to get all of this information and a customized approach for no charge so i hope you find this video helpful in understanding what not to do uh, with your disability benefits love to hear from you in the comments if you just drop us a note hey this was good hey you missed something or whatever we could do uh, to better understand you would be great Make it a great day. Stay tuned for more. Thank you.